So, lost media. Media that has been lost to time, that is no longer viewable, and the most that remains of it is the memories of those who saw it back when it was available to the public. One such piece of media is a Finnish children's show called Taide on Tehtava, translating into Art is a Task or Art is the Mission. Except that, as of very recently, Taide on Tehtava is no longer quite considered lost to time, since 20 episodes have made an appearance on the internet, uploaded by a mysterious individual only going by Taide on Tehtava. One can only imagine the trials this individual must have gone through to bring us this nightmare fuel. Perhaps she went to the library holding the only available physical copy of the episodes, only to find that they weren't out on the shelves because kids these days no longer watch VHS tapes, how dare they? Perhaps she had to ask the only staff member there for the tape, but said staff member was busy herding children, so this mysterious individual stood there, in the kids section of the library, browsing a book about representations of masculinity in Finnish wartime media, until finally being led to the back rooms to find an old, dusty VHS tape. We can imagine how this individual might have transported the VHS to her home city to get this footage out of the VHS tape into digital form, committing a crime against the country's largest state-funded media company, only to make this piece of media available once more. Or something like that. I don't know. Because I'm not her. I mean, like, <laughs> who would be so obsessive over some kid's show as to do something like that? Certainly not me, as I am a law-abiding citizen. Anyways, what is this cartoon about? Each episode starts with the museum being closed up for the night, and the museum guard checking the halls once more before turning off the lights. A painting, the self-portrait of Eelin Danielson Kambogi lights up. One of the paintbrushes in the piece comes to life, whispers to the viewer, and leaps out greeting the viewer and stating that art is a mission, and then it smiles. The episodes themselves consist of the paintbrush presenting a famous Finnish painting and then giving the viewer small tasks such as finding small details within the piece or imagining what kinds of sounds one could hear in the piece's environment. After about five minutes, the paintbrush tells the viewer that she must return to her painting now before Alien becomes worried and says goodbye to the painting and the viewer. So the show accurately simulates a situation in which you, a child, get trapped in a museum at night and a living nightmare fuel paintbrush holds you hostage to teach you about art analysis. No wonder I was unsettled by this as a child. In fact, I ended up having a really weird nightmare after re-watching this cartoon. I don't want to talk about it. Before re-watching this show, I could have sworn that the episodes were longer than five minutes, though making a children's show about art analysis might be... A bit of a bold move to begin with. Getting a child to sit down for five minutes to immerse themselves into an old painting is... Mm, well... I remember that whenever I wasn't put off by this show as a child, I found it rather tedious. And I was the sort of kid who would spend an entire day just like reading a book. I wonder how children these days would fare with something like this, since most of the children's media nowadays is relatively fast-paced. If the back of the VHS tape is to be believed, then the show was maybe first made in 2004? The user Goofmuffin on the r slash Lost Media subreddit page was able to find some information about when it aired, though there doesn't seem to be information anywhere about when it stopped being shown or why the show all but disappeared from existence afterwards. The cartoon was at least shown on the channel Yle TV Uxi in 2006 and on the channel Yle TV Kaksi in 2014. Yle has been known to stop showing programs in their ownership due to the video quality becoming outdated, as might have been the case with this program, especially if the video quality of the raw files was equivalent to the quality of the VHS recording. The demographic of this show is a bit tricky to figure out as well. The VHS tape says that the show is for the ages 3 and up, but there isn't any specific age recommendation. The paintbrush explains some basic vocabulary terms such as the word toibilas, which isn't a particularly unusual term anyways, but doesn't explain others. 
Some of the tasks are extremely easy, like find the baby in this painting, though some of the tasks that require finding things in the paintings are rendered impossible by the video quality. Other tasks actually go into decent art analysis, showing how changing the colors or composition of the piece or adding outlines to the characters would impact the mood of the art. Sometimes the paintbrush character even asks the viewer to make interpretations of the scene in the painting. Additionally, a statement by the Finnish Ministry of Transport and Communications mentions the program being for school-aged children. Are these 20 episodes the only ones? I don't know. It seems like awfully few episodes, but the best evidence towards there being more is if someone could remember other episodes existing, and the only episode that I remembered ever watching is among these 20, so who knows. But who made this cartoon? Who's responsible for this... Anxiety-inducing, staring into your soul paintbrush person. There are credits at the end of each episode. The first name mentioned being Eva Litmanen, who is actually a pretty well-known Finnish actress. I'm quite certain that she's the museum guard, but she's also listed at the back of the VHS tape as the narrator, which I think means she also voiced the paintbrush. Her contribution to the show is, however, not mentioned anywhere on the internet, not on her IMDb page, not on her Wikipedia page, only in these end credits. The second name in the credits is Elli Pietarinen, whose contribution isn't specified, but she has been listed as having worked in the art department for other ULE programs, so... It was probably her. She made this. She made the paintbrush and Eva Littmanen voiced it. The show was written by Anu Tuomi Nikula and produced by Jarmo Oksa. We have the culprits. If anyone else was traumatized by the show, now you know who to blame. But you wouldn't know that these people worked on the show because as mentioned before, Taidon Dehteva has pretty much been wiped off the planet in the sense that it just not brought up anywhere. The only evidence to it ever existing before the episode surfaced was a few screenshots, a page on Ule Arena that unfortunately doesn't actually let you view the show, thanks Ule, and that one VHS in that one library. So, to cap this video off, I would like to thank the people who looked into this cartoon before me so that when I looked it up in the early spring of 2022, I was actually able to find some information instead of thinking that I hallucinated it. So thanks to the Reddit users Goof Muffin and Living Lock, as well as the YouTube user Mirofloid then for preserving the legend, spread the nightmare fuel. And special thanks to you, the viewer, for watching me spend my time on questionable endeavors. Bye. And remember, Taide on tehtava. Taide on tehtava.